My name is Cynthia. Today is going to be my top 10 tips concerning parrots. Uh, one of my favorite subjects. Today's subject is going to be macaws, a large parrot. Hopefully this will help you decide on a macaw if that's what you want to buy. Macaws are very special birds. Of course they're large birds. I always suggest you start out with a small parrot first and see if you really like them. Just don't go out and buy a, a macaw right away because they are quite a handful. You kind of need to know what you're doing when you have a macaw. But let's go through a couple, some of the different varieties. Now there's over, let's see how many do I have, 10 minimal varieties of macaws. One that's dear to my heart is the green wing macaw. Very cuddly. I love it dearly. I had one and unfortunately he died by a terrible accident and I miss him terribly. And he was wonderful, cuddly, talked, played. I can't give you enough love for that bird. And if you want a macaw, don't hesitate to look at a green wing macaw. Now they're very large. They're one of the largest macaws you can get. And unless you've been around parrots, the beak can be pretty imposing. But most of the time when a macaw bites you, it doesn't hardly even break skin. I mean it's just more or less a nudge to leave me alone. Now the next one that I love is the blue and gold macaw which is one of the most popular ones you can find. I, when I purchased my first one, it was uh, I paid $1,800 for her. And I don't know what they run now. I have to assume they're pretty close to the same price. They're pretty popular. You can find them almost in every pet store. You probably can find them from a breeder, which is the best way to buy a pair, by the way, is to buy a pair directly from a breeder. Blue and gold, they're funny comical, dance, sing, talk like mad, and again, they can be very tame. I, I can take mine around everywhere I go. She can sit on my shoulder. I don't feel afraid of her biting me. Now you got to be careful. You got to know your parrot very well before you put them on your shoulder. But I trust her terribly and I know she wouldn't bite me. So Blue and Gold Macaw is a wonderful pair to get. Another pair to get is a Scarlet Macaw. Scarlet Macaw is different than a green wing in that it has more of a whiter beak. Uh, Scarlet Macaws can be nippy. you got to be careful with them. They're not as nice, I think, as a green wing macaw. And they're a little bit smaller than a green wing. But they're a very nice bird. They're beautiful coloring on them. But you got to be careful with the scarlet because they can be nippy. And I never had a scarlet. And I didn't have a friend who had a scarlet either. So I can't give you personal information about them. But I do know that they can be a very good, very good pet. Another one is called a military. Military is basically a green parrot. And I had a friend who loved militaries. He loved them. And he had his for a long time. I don't know whatever happened to the one he had. And he liked it. He said it was very tame. And militaries are kind of common, but not as easy to find as a blue and gold. Military macaws are, are again, a very nice macaw to have. Although they're not as spectacular as a scarlet and a green wing and a blue and gold but they can be a very nice parrot also. Another one that is exceptional is a hyacinth macaw. Purple, gigantic black beak. Pretty imposing. I've never had one, but I've been around one. I had two friends that had them, and they loved them dearly. The thing with the hyacinth is they are on the list of endangered pets. And you have to be very careful when you have them. I su most ex experts suggest if you buy a, a hyacinth and it's under 10 years old, keep it as a pet. But once it becomes sexually mature, usually after 10 years, 
you have to give it up to a breeder to have some more hyacinths because they're so rare in the in the wild that they're on the endangered list you need to be sure to take care of them to make sure that they are more hyacinths around for more people to enjoy as a matter of fact you might even look that Theodore Roosevelt had a hyacinth. There's pictures of him with his hyacinth macaw. What a spectacular bird. Very expensive. Ten to twenty thousand dollars. Used to be the range when I was looking at buying parrots. I don't know what they are today, but I have to assume they're pretty close to that same price. What a spectacular bird. One I've always wanted, but I don't think I could give it up at ten years of age to give it back to somebody. At least not then, now I'm older, I probably would be able to give it up. But how anybody does, I don't know when you love it so much. And now there's a small macaw called a Hans macaw, mini macaws they call them. And there's other mini macaws and they can be very nice pets. They have the personality of a large, large one. And, but they are a little harder to find, but I'm sure you can find them. And they again can be a wonderful macaw. Now macaws, of course, need a very large cage, and I've seen some pretty sad cages that they're in. Buy the biggest cage you can for them because they will use every inch of that. You should, they should be able to flap their wings in the cage. That's how big it should be. Of course, if it's a real tame parrot, you want to have it out of the cage as much as possible, but they still need to have room to move around. And I've seen some horrible really bad care of macaws and I hope that you'll never turn into that kind of owner and if you do know of one get that bird out of that situation as soon as you can. Macaws, wonderful pets. Don't be afraid to get one but you should really have parrots before you end up buying a macaw out of the blue. Check them out Get a parrot, small parrot, move up to macaw before you just buy one because they are a handful. You need to know what you're doing. Hopefully I gave you some good information about macaws. If you did, give me a thumbs up. I'm going to have other videos on other different breeds and species. Come back. I try to download one every Monday. And hopefully subscribe to my channel. Come back and visit me. Bye now.